So here are the ingredients for the fried fish salad. Yeah, I have about six mackerels. We call this ikan kembung in Malay. Lightly marinated it with salt and turmeric powder. Okay, and I'm going to deep fry them. And I'll just remove the flesh and I'll mix them with all these fresh herbs. Yeah, I have uh, turmeric leaf, two kaffir lime leaves, some fresh coriander leaves, tomatoes, and then uh, red onion as well as shallots, two types of lime, ordinary uh, lime as well as calamansi lime, and Thai chilies. They yeah, have uh, green and red. So I'll be chopping them as well as cut them into strips. Now I'm just going to deep fry the fish. So let's get started. I've already heated up some oil. Just going to deep fry the fish and then I will just remove the flesh. Power. Meanwhile, I'll cut the onions and so on. Some of the chilies, I just cut them into smaller pieces and then some I just leave it as a holder so you can just bite into it. So here are the fried fish. So now I'm just removing the flesh. It can be quite hot, so just be a little careful. So usually what I do is when I use a fork and just poke through and just get the flesh out easily. Then after that, you can just uh, of like tear it into smaller bits. So like mackerel is uh, one of the best fish or salar called in Malay. Uh, this is called as uh, ikan kembung. So you might ask can I use other types of fish? Yes you may. Uh, it might taste a little different with other fishes but uh, overall yes you may use uh, fishes of your choice. So make sure that there are no bones as much as possible. This is best eaten uh, immediately actually because when you squeeze the lime juicer, so it's nice to have it immediately. You can also keep this chilled in the fridge. Best eaten with rice. So the amount for the shallots, chili, tomatoes and all that is up to you. More or less how much you want to use, uh, you just go ahead. Just taste now to see if uh, it's enough uh, lime juice. Try, wow. Mm, super good. And if you want to make it even more spicy, another tip that I can tell you is instead of just cutting the birdseye chili, right, you can just crush them in a mortar pestle and then you can get very spicy chili. I'm just going to add a little bit more of the lime juice. So I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I will definitely try this recipe at home. So until I see you all again on the next video, thank you for watching.